Views and content expressed in the following program are not representative of ONTV or the Board of Directors. ONTV and its Board of Directors do not endorse the views, thoughts, or content of the following program. Hello and welcome to Political News, Political Views, uh, the show that uh, no teleprompters, no cue cards, no idiot boards, although today I do have some notes and I brought a computer in so that uh, when I say something I can back it up. Um, part of this show and the reason for it is the fact that uh, I don't believe that we are using our brains enough because uh, some of the stuff that is being said and done is just so idiotic it's ridiculous. So this show, the purpose of it is, well hopefully not for me to piss you off um, and hopefully you don't throw your shoe at the TV because TVs are awful expensive, but um, just to make you think. I, I am no scholar, I'm no um, uh, philosopher, I'm a human being who observes life. Uh, something that was said to me many, many years ago by a friend of mine uh, when I was working on the cruise ship was that uh, how young people, you know, they have all the answers. And uh, some of them do actually, there's, there's some very smart people out there. However. He told one young man, he said, in the book of life, I've read a few more chapters than you. Made sense. And um, in my position, uh, in my life, I've read a few chapters myself, as have you. The thing is that one chapter that we have missed out on is talking to one another, communicating. We have the phone of which we can pull out and I have to admit I was on Twitter for a very very short time and it, it, it can be um, therapeutic by telling somebody to go to hell halfway across the country saying something that you wouldn't say to his face. Or now some people have gotten to the point that they go straight to violence. That's got to stop. We're destroying ourselves. An observation that I've noticed um, in the last uh, few years is that um, we complain about what we have now. I mean, we got Democrats and Republicans and Independents and this party, that party, all fighting, arguing as to who's best. Now, I'm not going to take sides, say the Democrats are the best or the Republicans are the best. What I will say is. Uh, and this is an opinion from me, so I'm going to mark it off as that, that the Republicans are not what I grew up with. I voted for Republicans. I started out as a Republican. I believe there are still Republicans out there. True, Lincoln, Roosevelt, Reagan, Bush, Ford, Republicans. Good people. Not this crap that we have now. Cruz, Hawley, Jordan, and the three baboons, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, and Sarah Palin. Now, um, maybe you like the three baboons, more power to you. But something that I came across this week is um, it was on the computer and I was reading it, which I hope people start doing more of. And it was uh, sayings by Mark Twain. Now, I, I know who Mark Twain is, Samuel uh, uh, Langston Clemens. And he was in the 1800s. And the things that he said, when I was younger, I, they didn't hit me as hard as they do. Now, a few of them did. A few of them are catching. But um, I was reading through them today, and I wrote some of them down because they kind of fit. And I kind of want to use them today, if you don't mind. Uh, the first one that I, I really liked, 
And he said, the more I learn about people, the more I like my dog. And that's a damn good one. Because right now, I got to tell you the truth. Some of the people that are out there, the things they say, the things they do are just so bizarre. Yeah, he's right. I, I, I have more respect for my dog. And the thing is, we don't have to be like this, but we are. And it gets worse and worse and worse. But we have leaders that push for it. Um, one thing that I, I have stated, and I might as well state it now because it, it, it kind of fits. Will somebody, everybody, tell these damn fools including myself, when you are recorded, when you are on camera, as I am right now, you are being recorded. It's there for posterity. Can people manipulate it? Yes, they can. Does it happen a great deal? Yeah, with idiots, yeah, it does. But this week, Roger Stone they came out with all kinds of things that he said about January 6th and about the violence and the, the voting, and, and all of this is in succession. Now, there's no way in hell that the people who filmed it from uh, uh, Denmark could have known what was about to happen. Now he's coming out, oh, look what they're doing to me. Well, you know something? Roger Stone, you're a horse's ass. And people who believe that crap, you ain't much better. So, come on, use your head. He's on film. They say things on film. They say things on the radio. You are recorded. If you don't want to be recorded, then shut the hell up and stop talking stupid. Think about what you say. It, it, you know, I've run, as I said in the past, I've run for office. And I always try to watch what I say. You know, the, the one thing is, if you tell the truth, you don't have to remember what you said because it comes out. And as you get new information, you take that information and you put it out there. You qualify it. You, you uh, check it. Make sure it's correct. If they did that, we wouldn't have half the problems that we have now. But I do want to say this as to today, the day of this recording, Yesterday, Florida got hit, and got hit hard. For anyone who says that climate change makes no difference, go down and tell the people of Florida that. Because the devastation that was there, what we owe to these people, these are our citizens, these, these are people in our country. Extend a hand. Stop trying to find blame. But what I saw this week between Joe Biden and Ron DeSantis, that's how it's supposed to be done. They came together. They've talked as many as four or five times. They helped each other out. They extended a hand. Like Biden said, whatever differences we have, they're out the door. And that's, how, that's what we are. That's who we are. Now we look at this. this is this a one-time situation? It shouldn't be. America stood for something. When I grew up and I went to school, it stood for something. What the hell do you tell your kids now? They go to school, they learn something, if they're allowed to, and then they go home and they see this horseshit on TV? Name-calling, lying, uh, criminals bragging about what they do and saying how abused they are. Come on. We're better than that. We've heard that statement before. We're better than that. And every time we say it, we seem to take two steps back. Come on. We are better than that. To extend a hand to help someone out, you don't have to do it. Uh, don't do it to get something. Do it because it's the right thing to do. So I'm really impressed with what they've done. Um, the country is behind them, and that's how we should be. That's how we should be outside of this building, in, uh, in our own town, in our schools. 
you know, if you really want to see where we're at, now all this crap, and uh, I want to, I don't want to take sides, but I, I have to put some of the facts out. Our democracy is under attack without, without justification. It just is. If you look at what fascism, socialism, Nazism, communism is, it's definitely not democracy. And having studied those four types of government, and, and there's others, democracy is without a doubt the hardest one to maintain because you have to put aside your differences and care about one another. Whereas with fascism, fascism is that the people will be told what to do, what they can and cannot do. They will be given what they're supposed to be given. Socialism, Republicans, look up what socialism is. You damn fools. You keep using the word like it's a weapon. Like, oh, the, the Republicans and the liberals are socialists. You don't even know what it means. Another word you don't know what it means is Trumpism. Now, fascism, communism, socialism does have an authoritarian government where the government tells you what to do and you'll keep your mouth shut. Or there'll be consequences for you. We are in a country where these damn fools can say whatever they want. They wouldn't do that in China. They sure as hell wouldn't do it in Russia. They wouldn't do it in, in uh, North Korea. But they can do it here. And I hope they understand that if they get what they want, that's one rule that goes out the door. You don't get to say whatever you want because one person or a couple people will tell you what you can and cannot say. So keep that in mind. Be careful what you ask for. But now there's a fifth one that has to be put into the mix. Its definition is evolving, and it's called Trumpism. Trumpism is not just a dictator, but a supreme leader who has absolute authority over everybody. You will bow to him. If you get out of line, he will have, have it corrected. Now, he's not the only one. Trumpism has now infected other politicians to where they are now saying, what will happen to people? They will have the rights that they will be given. Now, I bring this up because right now, we are seeing democracy work in a, a situation that, that is just unbelievable. But we have other situations, the fires in California, the droughts that are happening in the Midwest, the high heat. Now that's climate. We also have shortages. We also have violence. We have high crime. Now what we do with that right now is we go ahead and we blame someone. And by doing that, then they run out and they start spewing this crap rather than trying to fix it. Now, in the past, the government would get together, they would go into the room, which we sent them. Now, I, I, I want to put something into democracy that I didn't put into the others. In a democracy, the government works for you. That is why the Republican term or meaning of socialism does not fit. You got that, uh, Ted Cruz? With the people working for us, they are working to make our lives better. Now, right now, we see in Florida how Biden, FEMA, senators, congressmen, all of a sudden looked at that and said, oh, my God, this is, we have to fix this. Yes, you do. That's your job. That's what we sent you there for, to make sure that our lives are as safe as possible. You can't blame the government for a hurricane, but how they handle it. 
And right now, we are exceptional so far. Hopefully, people aren't going to use this to means that uh, are selfish. But now, one thing that uh, Biden did say, which was uh, quite amazing, was he told uh, oil companies, don't even think of jacking up prices. Thank God. I'm not against business. But the president does not have the authority over business the way the Republicans seem to say they do. And, of course, the Democrats do the same thing when they're uh, not in power. The president is limited in what he can and cannot do. So stop thinking that he's all-powerful. He is not all-powerful. One of them tries to think he is and wants to be, but he won't. So he better get that through his head, although, you know... The one thing with uh, some people, both sides at times, that there's no amount of evidence that can persuade an idiot. The stuff that we're hearing is right now we see our government to where it was, um, you did the right thing. There were, oh, let me see ethics, morals, tradition, and they went by that. A few stepped out of bounds, and the government set them aside. The majority of the time, a few got away with it, Tom DeLay being one of them. Um, but the thing was, they went in, and they saw a problem, and they fixed it. We better get back on that because we have a lot of problems coming up. Schools. I don't know what the hell woke means. I hear all kinds of definitions, and I'm sorry. It sounds to me like somebody came up with a word and decided to use it as a weapon because I can't see the meaning in it. Critical race theory. Ladies and gentlemen, history is what did happen. And for those who want to rewrite it so it makes them feel good or it deletes details because their child is offended by it. Oh my God, history already happened. Learn from it. But we don't. Now we want to change it. We don't want books to be read because if you read a book that they don't like and the Republican Party came up with Parents should have a say in their child's education. The only say they should have is that their child comes out of there with a good education to be able to go out into work, into the uh, workforce, and be successful. The one thing that happened in the 1950s, if some of you can think about it, was when Sputnik went up. And all of a sudden, under the Eisenhower administration, oh my God, look how stupid we are. Look at the Russians. Ivan and Ivanka are up in space, and we are dancing to uh, American Bandstand. And then all of a sudden, there was a big push for education. And that was great, because look what came out of it. We were inventive. We came up with new policies and new plans and new ideas. But now we're going to stop that, because a few people don't like what's being learned. And then when a governor or a politician, congressman or, or senator or state rep or, or a state senator come up and say, I don't want that to be out there because they'll get the wrong idea. People need to think on their own. Why do you think I come up here and, uh, and do this, this show? Because people don't think on their own. Look it up. You got a computer. Get on there. Go to uh, YouTube. Go to the news station. Go to uh, whatever. Learn. Get on your computer. Get on your TV. Read a book. Read a newspaper. If somebody on TV said something, don't take it verbatim. Check it out. And the one thing that they have found is that what's going on in, in media now is that 
they are filtering a brain wave to you. They want you to think a certain way. Well, I'm not going to do that. Now, I, don't, I can't tell you what to do, but I'm not. If I see something, I'm going to check it out. If it turns out to be true, fine. If it doesn't, I oppose it. And I'm going to say something. I don't need to be a follower. And I don't care who says it. So don't, if you want to say, oh, well, you're a damn Democrat. Well, I was a, I'm a Reagan Democrat, which puts me in the middle. I'm, I guess I'm, I'm a mixed human being. I'm a Republican and a Democrat. What do you call that? But I can listen to both and see who's, find out who's telling the truth. When you see shit that comes out of Matt Gates, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jim Jordan, um, Ted Cruz, oh my God, Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, you need to go back to uh, Harvard because I, I think you did go to Harvard but you just went to have lunch because you're a dumbass. Rick Scott, you're a dumbass. Maxine Waters, shut your mouth. Learn how to talk constructively. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. But some of them, they're just idiots. This stuff, Ted Cruz, why are you going after Big Bird? Louis Gohmert, damn, I will be glad when the mothership comes down from whatever planet he came from and picks his damn ass up. That is one stupid son of a bitch. Along with Paul Gosar, the man who has Perini's disease in his head. The stuff that comes out of their mouth is just Ridiculous, and it's entertaining for sure. Let's take them, put them, let, let's build a, a, have Hollywood build a capital, put these damn fools in there, and make them stay there for, for a month. And we can sit and watch them once a week to see how stupid they talk. It's getting ridiculous. We are gone so far over the edge we got to back up. We have enough problems that need to be taken care of. Shortage of food, energy, uh, climate, uh, the economy, um, education. Those we need to sit down with a level head. Yes, there's going to be some arguing. As I've said before, the, the experiment that took place where they put, they paid people to go into a room and they had to, they were given a, an issue and they had to work it out. And they were able to do that. But our politicians, what they do is they take it and they make money off it. You know what's really amazing to me? I get these things on my phone. Joe Biden calls me, uh, uh, Jill Biden, uh, Amy McGrath, and, and, and some of the Republicans have called me. We need you to help us fight this problem, can you chip in a few dollars? Hell no! I see what you do with the money. Hell, they even found a way to pocket it. Now here's another issue that, that has come up. Our judicial system. Trump, without a doubt, as did Mitch McConnell, as did the Republican Party. They put in some people, all right. Justice Kavanaugh, in fact, I'm not even going to say justice, uh, uh, that Kavanaugh guy, because he's no justice. He is, he's, he's an idiot. But Kavanaugh, they didn't investigate everything about him. Imagine that. Bill Barr wouldn't allow that to happen because there was more to him. He's a con artist. He does not belong on the bench. Uh, Amy Coney Barrett, well, ladies, and well, uh, let me talk just to the ladies. She belongs to a group 
that says women are to be subservient to men in all facets of life. This has come out recently, and she believes that. Now, I don't. There are some women out there that put men to shame. We should look and appreciate a person's education and how they make our lives better and how they can think and solve a problem. Neil Gorsuch. Neil Gorsuch is preordained. All of them are. They were all interviewed by Trump. Trump interviewed all his judges so that they would work for him. And Judge Cannon, you came from the University of Michigan? Man, give back that diploma. You're a damn disgrace. We can clearly see what you're doing. And then the king of them all, Judge Thomas. You did have influence on, that, uh, on your wife. Oh, yes, you did. Because John Eastman, Ted Cruz, both came from under you. Oh, you were involved. You can say what you want. But what you have done is you have taken our judicial system and destroyed it. No, I don't trust it. And the other ones that are on there, I'm sorry. You all belong together because these four are on there. Judge Roberts, you know the difference between right and wrong and you know what's going on. And Judge Gorsuch, your little scam working with uh, Ted Cruz about changing the law so that they can keep the money that they get for uh, campaigns. Oh yeah, we know what you're doing. Cruz, you have no right to talk to a judge about any case like that. But you did it. Just like Judge Thomas, you did it. You're supposed to interpret the law. You're supposed to hear the facts, apply it to precedent, but you don't. Judge Alito, where the hell are you going? You going all the way back to the 1700s? Ladies and gentlemen, the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights were written at a different time. This has come up before. We brought this up on the show. It's on TV. I mean, come on. Use your damn heads. A well-regulated militia does not mean that a president can go ahead and get his own militias, which he still has. That's why so many people don't want to... Uh, criticize him because they know he will use the violence. The one thing that th these militias don't know is he will throw them under the bus. He'll do it in a way that he'll cause violence, but he won't take responsibility for it. He'll let somebody else do it. Hopefully that's going to come out. Hopefully they're going to see because what happened on January 6th was such a slap in the face to this country and he was involved in it. Now, for those that want to believe that he wasn't, for those that still want to believe that uh, the election was stolen, it was not. If you have the proof, bring it out. Stop this crap of, well, I have the proof, and I'm going to show it in 2024. If you have it, bring it out. But for those who are running for office, who are going to break the law, to teach us a lesson. You are headed for a disaster. Our first issue that we need to take care of is to secure the democracy that you have, the rights that you have, because I'm telling you, you can write this down, you can turn off TV for all I care, because it's going to happen anyway, one way or the other. Democracy is where the people tell the government what they want. Not the government tells you what you're going to get, and if you get out of line, we'll take care of you. You want to see what democracy is? Right now, right now you've got a perfect chance. Go 
Go on your TV, look what's happening in Russia. Go ahead. That's what you want? As I told you, that one picture where Trump is sitting like this with his head down was when Putin told him to his face, I don't care about your missiles. I don't care about your military. I have you. And we can see how he is destroyed. This is not on the Republican Party because good Republicans are good Republicans. These are Trumpsters. These are people who want to believe in Trumpism. They have this cult figure of him and undying loyalty to him. He can do no wrong. And yet you can see what he has done wrong. Other countries are wondering, what the hell did he do? How about this? You want to have some fun? Go down to all the 17 different lies that he told about why those documents are down at Mar-a-Lago. You know what Trump doesn't know, or maybe he does and he hasn't said so? Guess who, and this is coming off his people. <laughs> if you get on the computer and you start playing around and going from place to place, you would be amazed at some of the stuff that you'll see. But one thing that I'm still waiting for it to come out, several things, but here's one in particular. Um, Ron DeSantis has had some of his people push that information to the federal government. Now, I want to see what happens when Trump finds out. Because this way, Trump can be taken out of the mix. DeSantis is in. Now, that, when I read that, uh, and I had told one of my friends, he said, oh, that's just a conspiracy. Is it? Is it? I'll tell you what, I'd buy a ticket to a debate between Trump, Pence, Cruz, DeSantis, Abbott, um, Neom. That is going to be uh, an expensive ticket. That, that probably will be worth more than a Super Bowl ticket because that's going to be interesting. That would be interesting. It'd be worth watching. I hope it never happens, but it'd be worth watching. What Trump also doesn't know, well, now this one he does know. This one actually he does. They, they keep kind of skirting around it. Even Fox News kind of skirts around it. But what they've said is that um, the people in Mar-a-Lago have turned in Trump. They saw the documents. They s turned in the information, as did some of the employees. Now, either Trump is damn stupid, or he's not letting that out. But he has people watching him. He should have known that. How stupid can you be? Maybe he tried to take uh, uh, some of the women in and say, hey, look what I got. Then he can go into his perverted self. Is he a pervert? I think so. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the stuff uh, pushes for it. I bet you also didn't know that he sold pardons. Look at the people who have been pardoned. Okay. Uh, Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon is going to other countries pushing for this, this new Trumpism. Now, I, I don't know why he just doesn't name it, or maybe they, they haven't officially named it. Maybe the dictionary uh, uh, people have to verify the name, but Trumpism is now has to become a word because it actually has a meaning. And Roger Stone, these are two people that were pardoned and never stopped committing crimes. What the hell kind of shit is that? And like they say, if you or I had any one of those documents, or if we knew that somebody had those documents and we didn't say anything, we'd be in jail. So this is a country we are all equal. And it needs to stay that way. Now, that doesn't mean that 
you're equal economically, no. But you're equal in the sight of the law. And the Constitution is a set of rules and then a, a policy and a doctrine that we all follow. We don't follow it when we damn well feel like it. But that seems to be what we're doing. But as I said, go, go read Trump's lies. Read them all. And read them in succession because he contradicts himself on every one of them. And yet people believe it. They swear by it. He has offered no proof, even that bullshit down in Arizona with the cyber ninjas. They proved that there was no fraud. Not only did they prove there was no fraud, but they found 300 more votes for Biden. Yet, the woman running for Carrie Lake, running for governor there, stands up there and lies. Ron Johnson stands up there and lies. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she got diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> that woman, I can see why her husband divorced her. Why he didn't do it sooner, I don't know. Because I, I tell you what, interspecies marriages don't last. And someone in Congress should put that on her door. Yeah, I said it. I listen to what she says and it just blows me away how someone with no education, no class, no nothing, but an ignorant baboon, and yet people listen to her and send her money. She said that Democrats were hogs and that they should be shot. And she was up in a helicopter shooting a hog and saying that, that that's one less Democrat. Why? Is that what we are? We had a, a candidate in Missouri who said he was hunting rhinos. His own party hunting rhinos that didn't pledge their allegiance to Trump. And he showed that, yes, it was open season on him, and he had his AR-15. Ted Cruz and 16 other congressmen and senators went down to Texas with AR-15s. Check your news, it is out there. And was going to shoot to kill kids trying to get through the river into Texas. Now, right or wrong about the people coming in, you don't shoot them. But look, now, I've seen people when that came up, see, that Ted Cruz, he knows what to do. He knows how to put a stop to this. These are human beings. Is this what you want? Because if it is, you're going to be sorry. You want Oath Keepers, Proud Boys, Three Percenters, Wolverines? You want the Capitol uh, uh, charged? Is that what you want? You better think about it, and you better think hard, because once it starts, the one thing with a democracy is everybody has the right to life and liberty. And fascism, Nazism, communism, socialism, Trumpism, you don't. Be careful what you ask for. Don't listen to the word fascism. Learn it. Understand it. Make it applicable to your life. This is not a joke. I say this week after week after week. This is not a joke, and it just gets worse. We not only, judge, uh, Trump found a judge that would do what he wanted, because that's how she got her position. She got it just before he left office. And he admitted what he did. He said he interviewed all the judges that they would be loyal to him. And they told him during his presidency, you can't do that. They have to be vetted. They have to be independent. Some have. Some have not. The 
judge in the Kyle Rittenhouse case, that sucker should have been taken off the bench. He should be in jail. I don't know what the hell he was doing, and we all watched it. Some cheered, some complained. No, he should have been taken off. Judges, once you lose the courts, that's it. That's it. Democracy will never prevail. It can't. In all five of those types of government, fascism, socialism, communism, the whole gambit of them, you lose your rights. You work for the government, not the other way around. Our government changes from executive, legislative, judicial. The judicial right now is so torn apart. There's a few bright spots. And the funny thing was, Trump ran into one of those bright spots. Thank God. Judge Deary, who he wanted because he thought he could pull a fast one, turned out to be a real judge. Judge Cannon, you are such a damn fool. Other judges, other lawyers, they have said, we know what you did. We know why you did it. You're a disgrace. And to the people who support her, use your head. Is that what you want? We have too many problems to allow this to go on. We have too many things in the future, and the future is coming fast. This war with Russia, this is not going to end well. Now, Trump gets out there and he says, oh, if I was in power, this wouldn't have happened. Well, that's true. That is true. Every once in a while, Trump has a grain of truth that comes out of his mouth. Amazing. But what Trump would have done had he gotten in to the second uh, term, which he would have been a lame duck until he would have changed the 18th Amendment, he would have pulled us out of NATO. And yes, Russia would have marched right in. When Biden took office, the rest of the world didn't trust us, and with good reason. We never had a president that countries said, don't come here, we don't want you. Sports teams refused to go to the White House. Politicians, he called names, people he, he treated like garbage. He brought people in that ripped us off, as well did he, and is still doing it. And yet, there's people out there praising him. As I say, if you got the proof that the, uh, the election was stolen, bring the proof. If you've got it and it's legit, you should be reinstated. I'll say that. But the thing is with this war, you are watching what a dictator will do. Look in China what they're doing with their people with COVID. Trump wanted to know why this had to happen to him. Well. The fact is, if you look at what Biden, and, and I'll give DeSantis credit, they saw a problem and they handled it. That's how you do it. Trump tried to make it go away. Admit it didn't even happen. Made money off it. People died. These are human beings that died. Lives. Have we, have we lost our... our passion for life? Have we lost uh, that a human being, a single human being has value? Or they're just a number? Now that doesn't mean that, that Trump's the only one. I mean, there's other presidents that have done some stupid ass things. But in fairness to most, not to Trump, because Trump does stuff maliciously, people do make mistakes. Tragic mistakes. They should be held accountable for them, yes. But not when you do it maliciously. 
What Putin is doing right now is he wants to change the world. China is actually quarantining people and, and throwing the, the economy into chaos. They're a big factor in it. Trump was a big factor because uh, would somebody still, I'm, I'm asking anybody, send Trump a letter, but use pictures because he really can't read. Use, use little cartoons if you can. A tariff is not a tax, you damn fool. Learn what the difference between a tariff and a tax. What you did to our farmers in the Midwest is a disgrace because you don't know the difference because you're too damn stupid. You say you have this education. You're an idiot. Every time you open that, yep, you're an idiot. We can see it. Your cult followers can't. I'm sorry, but this stuff is obvious. A lie is a lie. If you tell a lie once, Carrie Lake, you're running and you said, you're running for governor in Arizona, you said that the, ed the election is rigged two weeks before it happened. So you're setting the stage. If I don't win, it's rigged. That's the new Trumpism mantra. Now, I, what I'm saying, how to fix this? True Republicans. Break away. Let Trump have his party. First of all, he'll steal every dime that they have. They'll hate his guts. Let those idiots go. Like I said, no amount of evidence can persuade an idiot. It can't happen. They will believe what they want to believe. Look at what happened down in Jonestown. In Branch Davidian. Look at what happened. People are like that. That doesn't make them right. So Republicans, Republicans, true, real, conservative, educated Republicans, stand back. Get away from him. Tell him, take your party and go. See how long it lasts. Now, unfortunately, you'll have to pay a price for it, but you created the son of a bitch. He was guilty of bribery with Ukraine. He was guilty as hell. You saved him. Now, I've heard, oh, that was illegal. No, it wasn't. It was perfectly legal, and they had him, and they had the evidence, but Mitch McConnell said, you will not take our leader away from us. Mitch, I bet you'd like to have that one over again, wouldn't you? And even after it was over, how senators came out and said, yeah, I think he was guilty, especially Susan Collins. I, I, I have to do this. Yes, I think he learned his lesson. That lasted, what, three months? And then she tried to say it again. And then she tried to say it about Kavanaugh. You're a very poor choice of uh, understanding people. But when they do these things, and you see it, they're doing it to you. They're doing it to all of us. If you think that Trump's, Trumpsters are absolved of their bullshit, you're wrong. You share in it. We all share in it. And if you allow it to happen, one thing that you'll have to remember now, and keep this in mind, when you have a dictatorship, they need to hold on to power. You can walk up and down the streets, well, we need to take care of the crime problem, yes, without a doubt. But you have to understand that for a dictator to hang on to power. That means that there'll be people in the streets watching you, listening to you. Gestapo? Yeah. Fascism? Yeah. Black shirts, brown shirts, SS? Yeah. North Korea? Oh, hell yeah. 
You're going to be shot on sight. Trump even made a, a, a claim that if he gets back into power that uh, drug dealers should be shot on the street. Now, I'm not for drug dealers, but I'm not for that either. Does that mean that you're carrying some aspirin in your pocket? That's a drug? Shoot him because you don't like him? Remember, your rights, democracy, you have to work for it. It's not free. Freedom is not free. You have to pay for it. But you're asking for something, and you're setting yourself up for something that you're not going to like. Republicans, there's some damn good ones out there. Democrats, you're going to have to help the Republicans out. You're going to lose, the Republicans will lose power, but so will the Trumpsters. But the Trumpsters have no, no plan of anything. They just want total domination and as much wealth as they can get. That's what they want. You listen to uh, McCarthy. I don't even use his first name, nor do I say Mr. And I definitely ain't saying honorable. There's nothing honorable about him. All he wants is power. Doesn't care how he gets it, whatever he has to do. He's even sucking up to Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh my God. You need her to help you get power? First of all, you ain't going to get it if Trump gets there. He's already said that. It'll be Jim Jordan, possibly Marjorie Taylor Greene, Jim Banks. It won't be you. And if you're doing this to get the power, you're going to find out you're not going to hang on to it. But we're in a situation now where we don't even talk to one another. We've got three people wanting to cut out Social Security, and I'm, I'm just amazed. Uh, my question is, you want to cut it out, what, what are all these people going to do, including myself? The ones who paid into it, the ones who are paying into it. You, you say, well, we need to uh, review it every year, or we need to cut it out. Oh, and the... The poor need to pay more in taxes. They're not paying their fair share. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The poor need to pay more in taxes per Rick Scott. Now, this is a jackass who's worth $15 million sitting on a yacht in Italy complaining about Biden taking a vacation in Delaware. Rick Scott, do you ever listen to yourself or, or do you just open your mouth and something comes out? Because the majority, Trump, DeSantis, Cruz, oh, Hawley, um, uh, Tom Cotton, uh, uh, the three baboons, as I said, uh, Jim Banks, uh, all these other ones, you know, <sighs> politicians and diapers need to be changed as often as possible. And for the same reason, Mark Twain, he said it best. We got a lot of diapers that need to be changed. A lot of politicians that need to be changed. And we know why. Getting back to education, I'm all over the place, I guess. I'm ranting, I guess. There's just so much going on. But I think, one, please people vote. And vote as if your life depends on it, because it does. Democracies have fallen. If this democracy falls, the world will go into chaos. What would happen? I can't even imagine. The United States, our country, our people, need to stand together. No differences. They're even pushing for a national religion. Christian nationalism is not a religion. It's a political movement. This country was based 
on freedom of religion because they had that in England and it didn't work. So the point is, be careful what you ask for. Learn, investigate, understand. I'll give you a show that I watch quite often, uh, uh, Decades, if you have uh, Xfinity. Watch Decades when they have their one hour where they look back. You can see how things happened and why they happened. And you can see how we fix them. Save your democracy. Increase the education. We are better than this. We are so talented. But right now, we're ignorant as hell. This bullshit has got to stop. Politicians, you work for us, not the other way around. And if you think that you now have to have bodyguards because you have created enemies, maybe you need to look at yourself. For those who don't bow down to the self-appointed orange Jesus, which is what they call him now. You have to have bodyguards to save your life. What will happen though is if this thing gets in office again and his people, you will need protection. Your life is going to go straight to hell. I'd tell Trump to go to hell, but he's got a lot of friends down there, so he's all for it. I think he has three. And, and people, look, one other thing, and this is for all of them, not just Trump. Stop sending these bastards money. It amazes me how the hell people are saying inflation is wiping me out, and yet you, you'll take $100 and you'll send it to these bastards. Major corporations, like Peter Thiel, want the government to go a certain way. So they pay for it. You want a politician that works for you, not for one person. Not for the person that gave them money, not for the person that threatens them. They're supposed to work for you. They have your lives in their hands. Your kids in their hands. Think about it. I get animated with this, yes. Is it important? You have no idea. Go to your football games, go to your, your uh, parties, have your holidays, but remember, that ain't for free. So make sure you protect it. Get out there and vote. Vote for your rights, not the right that somebody one will be nice enough to give you. Okay. Well, I hope I gave you something to think about. Um, I was all over the place, but the point of the whole show is this. Think. Listen to what's being said. Take it and investigate. You're smart enough to do that. Please do it. Thank you. Views and content expressed in the previous program are not representative of ONTV or the Board of Directors. ONTV and its Board of Directors do not endorse the views, thoughts, or content of the previous program.